Hi guys, welcome back to Thrifty Mama Scraps. So, I am just getting ready for the day. Um, I didn't do any scrapbooking last night. I was just way, way, way too tired. Um, I thought about it and then I was like, no, I'd rather sleep. <laughs> so, um, I thought since I am getting ready, I'd show you what I use for um, when I get ready for the day. Um, this is my new t-shirt that I got. And I think Katie's wearing hers today when she meets me up here. Um, it's about 9.30 and um, Brick World opens at 10 o'clock. So Ethan and I are going to go down at 10 o'clock and do that. As you can see, I have my dishes here where I wash them. These are hotel glasses. Um, if you ever stay at a hotel and they have glass glasses, wash them. Just trust me, wash them before you even use them. And then there's like a nice makeup mirror. And then this is just kind of how I have everything set up. Most of the stuff is my stuff. That's my husband's and the boys' stuff. And then this is a shower. So just pretty standard. But I don't use a lot of makeup. Never have. I'm just not a big makeup person. So um, I use a primer, which I use Smashbox primer and then this is like a concealer which I love it pretty much covers every blum sorry about that I had to stop the video my husband called and said that they're already down there and um, at Brick World and Hunter wants his tripod so I need to bring that down um, with me but anyways this is a concealer that I love because it covers pretty much any blemish that you could possibly have. And then this is the brush that I use, which I think it came from, I think it came from um, Bare Minerals. It's just a foundation brush. And blush, which is Cargo brand, which I love. And it's just a really light color. And then this is what I use for the to put on the blush. And then then this is usually the one that I use. Butter London Libby. And what color is it? I don't know if it'll toff. That's a color I so. saw. And that's it. That's all I use. I don't use a lot of makeup. So um I um, I know a lot of people like to do their eyebrows and their eyeliner and all that stuff and honestly I don't like that look um, a lot of people do but I don't so I don't use it um, there's a TV in our bathroom so we found that out last night by accident we accidentally hit the remote and and the TV turned on so that was pretty interesting <laughs> So um, I'm going to put my makeup on and it's almost time to go down and do Brick World. So I kind of, I can show you an overview. I try to keep like when we're staying in a hotel or anywhere actually, I try to keep things like as contained as possible and organized. Um, sometimes a house gets in disarray um, just because we live in it and um, we have kids so you know it's not always perfect but um, in a small space like this it's important to like keep it picked up and you know well in our house too but this is like our luggage area this is what we got this is what the boys got my husband for Father's Day I didn't even make the beds yet I'll probably make the beds um, but they got them there I'm not going to give it to him tomorrow. My husband is a huge G.I. Joe fan. And this was like on Facebook. And we ordered him this t-shirt. It was like $35. But it says, Dad, Real American Hero. So, so we're going to give him that in the morning with some cards. And then we're going to go out to a Father's Day brunch at one of the a nicer restaurant here in the hotel. So... And that's going to be his Father's Day gift because he's a great dad. Right, Ethan? You got a great dad? Yeah. Yeah. So. But 
Yeah, don't mess with the tripod. We need to bring that down. But I still need to make the beds, as you can see. Um, and we kind of just pile up towels there for when the maid comes. And then, of course, the countertop's cleaned off from breakfast and everything. That's where we kind of keep our trash. Laundry basket. Why is Dad's jeans sitting there? Because he wants to wear them again? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, probably. And then just kind of everything right there. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. And so there's my scrapbook stuff still sitting there. I don't know if I'm going to have time to scrapbook today or not because Katie, Katie is coming up. And I know she's already on her way. She already sent me. Are you done with those socks? Mm -hmm. Can you put them in the laundry basket, please? Sure. Thank you. So, and then this is our bed. That's my husband's CPAP machine. And so he sleeps on this side and I sleep on that side. Which, this bed is not the most comfortable bed. Especially when you're used to sleeping in a king-size bed. It's not the best. I woke up with a shoulder, with shoulder pain, so... But I'm gonna turn this off and then um, finish getting ready, putting my makeup on and stuff like that. And then we're gonna head down to Brick World and, and I'm gonna film some of it. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I thought I'd show you the finished product. I'm not a beauty guru or anything like that. And I am 51 years old, so I'm not the most beautiful woman in the world or anything. But um, as you can see, that concealer covers up a lot. I have that zit that goes away and comes back and goes away. It's hormonal. Um, right now it's that time that I get it. So, you know, but it covers it up pretty well. And then I have scars on my neck from a car accident I was in when I was in fourth grade. My mom fell asleep at the wheel and she hit a tree and so I have some scars from that and I have some scars on my neck that that they really only show up red and sometimes um, concealer doesn't cover it up but it is we were hurt pretty badly my mom was hurt the worst um, and I was I look my mom said I look like a child child abuse case and my sister um, has a huge scar on her chin from it, but, um, we all survived it. So that was great. <laughs> that was good news. But, um, so anyways, so this is my outfit of the day. So you can tell that I've kind of lost, I've lost 10 more pounds in two weeks. So I'm pretty proud of myself because I was at a plateau for about six months. And if you fight with your weight, you will understand that that it's really hard to lose weight. It really is like, um, I haven't really changed my diet at all. Um, I just, I keep track of it with this Under Armour um, app called, I think it's called Fit, Fit something. But I just type in what I eat. And then if I exercise, it like adds calories but I usually, every every night when I finish out, I usually have like 1,200 calories left for the day. So, and I haven't, I've been going down steadily. So, that makes me happy. But, um, yeah. So, I'm ready for the day. Um, I want to make the beds real quick. And then I'm going to grab Ethan and the tripod. And we're going to head down to Brick World. And, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, hi guys, I'm back. I am going to film us walking down there. I'm leaving our room. And I have everything. This is the hallway. So we head down. Oops. My husband just texted me. Sorry for the finger in the way. He's wondering if we're coming down now. And we are. So. Ethan's got Hunter's tripod, and we are ready to go. Um, incidentally, oh, Katie's here. Okay, I gotta text her real quick. Okay, I just text her back. So, 
she's gonna meet us down there at the entrance. This is actually perfect timing because then she can buy her ticket too. We can walk around Brick World. Yay. Morning. Morning. Excited? Yes. <laughs> Smile. You're so cute. You're the cutest 15 year old on the planet. So, Katie, we're supposed to meet Katie, I think, right there in the lobby because she has to go to the bathroom really bad. Is she here? Yeah, she just parked. Look at all these people in really pretty dresses. Yeah, but I'm wondering what door she's coming in. I think she's down here where you check into the hotel. I think she's at the hotel lobby. Huh? It is? Okay. Is here. Yeah, let's, is this the is this Brick World? Yes. Okay, so that's the convention center. Is she going to the convention center or in here? I don't know. Text her. Katie, there you are. You didn't wear your T-shirt. You look so cute, though. You made it. You got to pee. Okay, there's a bathroom in here. Yeah. Do you want to go up there first? Yeah. Okay. I brought stuff in. So we're in line to buy tickets. Say hi, Katie. Hi. <laughs> There and they look beautiful. Their dresses are gorgeous. And they have, you guys have tickets straight ahead. I want amazing food that I wish that I could have. Um, so it's moving pretty quickly, so yeah. So I'm going to film a little bit of inside just so. I have it up on my channel for Hunter to um, look at anytime that he wants or anybody else in the family and that kind of stuff. Anybody who cares to watch. Hi. So this is a pretty big event, so I'm pretty excited, especially for Hunter. Excited for cash. Oh, cash. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off while we pay, and then I'll be back. Don't worry. 